Jack. Yeah, do you want to introduce yourself? And, sure. Uh, yeah, my, my name is Jack Whalen. I'm one of the co-founders of a small company called Platinum Group Coatings. Uh, we call it PGC for short. Uh, basically, we produce a proprietary electro-deposited platinum iridium coating, or EPIC for short. Oh, nice. EPIC <laughs> device, yeah. And so what EPIC enables is it enables electrodes of a certain size for neurostimulation to be shrunk down to a smaller size, but still be able to safely deliver charge, uh, the same amount of charge into tissue. And if you use a conventional platinum metal right now, you would basically reach what's a charge safety limit if you tried to shrink those conventional platinum electrodes down to a smaller size. Okay, and so how, how what's the size limit now? Yeah, so, uh, so it just, it depends on the type of pulse and the, the target tissue that you're going for. Uh, with a conventional platinum electrode, um, you know, again, it depends on the, on the, on the size and, and the target. So, but what we typically say is, you know, if you want to get these more focused and you want to get into the tens of microns for a stimulating electrode, particularly thin film electrodes, which are these flexible circuit electrodes, um, we enable those to be used in a chronic stimulation setting by adding our coating. Okay. And uh, we were talking about this before. You don't make your own um, electrodes. You kind of do this as a service That's to right. the yeah. existing ones. <clears throat> yes. So, so for right now, we provide this as a service. We found that it's a lot easier to go out to different, you know, we found that most of the market, everyone is using a different electrode and it's usually in small quantities. So it's much easier for us to find out what electrodes people are using, coat them, return them back and charge a service for that. But as we sort of build our momentum, our target is eventually to build our own custom electrodes. And how long have you been doing this again? So we started the company in 24, uh, in 20, uh, that's 2013, 2013, basically. Yeah, okay. so we started in 2013, so it's been about five years. Uh, we've been all grant funded so far. Uh, we have two big uh, phase two SBIR grants, one with Duke University with Warren Grill, uh, who's uh, evaluating our coding in a Parkinsonian rat model. Uh, we're also working with the FDA on that same grant uh, where they're evaluating our coding in uh, brain machine interface um, in, a, in a mouse model of um, a brain machine interface. So they're recording there. And then our second grant, which just started, is with University of Minnesota, uh, Matt Johnson. And Matt is uh, going to be also evaluating our coding in a chronic stimulation, uh, non human primate model of Parkinson's disease. So we're, we're just getting that program started. Okay, cool. Do you want to do you want to show some of your yeah, Over sure. Stuff. So, so actually, this is a good this is a good example. Actually, I can show you. So, these are what you're looking at here are two deep brain stimulation style electrodes. So, the leads basically these things they're, they're long wires, and at the end of it, you can see they have these four metallic bands. And so, the bottom electrode, the, the bottom lead that you see there, that's the conventional band with the conventional platinum electrodes on it. And then what we do is, if you look at the, the lead just above it, you can see that those bands are actually in black. Uh, and so that black color is from our platinum iridium coating, our EPIC coating. And so uh, it, it, it scatters light because it has this nanotextured surface, which you can see in this microscope, uh, this SEM microscope photo that we have here. And so, so this is one example of a macro-sized electrode that we can work on. Now, one of the things that we've done, I can show you some microscope, some other smaller pictures. So what we're really targeting are sort of very tiny devices like this. So each one of these rectangular electrodes is only 50 microns high by 200 microns wide. And so now, our, we, and the sort of surface roughness you see there, again, is our EPIC coating on top of that. And so we're really trying to enable these much smaller electrodes to do the job of what we're currently using in devices that are this size today. So, Cool. And um, in terms of long-term, uh, I don't know, viability, something like this, does it... Mm -hmm. Does it delaminate or? Uh, yeah, so that's it? what we're trying to test now. So, uh, so our collaborators at Duke University are actually doing chronic stimulation testing now. Uh, they've done out to uh, 16 weeks of chronic stimulation. We're actually going through the analysis now. It looks like they haven't changed. Uh, we'll be doing electron microscopy to do the to finish the analysis and make sure that the coating is not delaminating. But. Our proprietary approach basically uh, helps. We know that the, the way that we apply the coating basically um, uh, 
is, is designed to Im maximize the platinum iridium adhesion to the base material, but as well as its cohesion uh, to you know each one of the atoms to one another in the coating, and so we, we feel pretty good about this and, and what we're you know and how it should turn out. So. Cool, cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it. It's it's a very interesting way of doing things. Like you don't have to. I mean, you're, you're kind of like testing the waters, and you don't have to go out and make like a huge company or something like this. Get a bunch of funding. You can kind of like try things out, and uh, then eventually. Yeah. So. Uh, trial so and error. I worked at another small company a little while back in my career, and uh, we lived by this mantra: "Run things lean and mean." Mm -hmm. So, you know, for us, we thought, you know, let's do this really organically. Let's go out there. Let's get the market to pull what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, so our our whole approach has been put this coding in the hands of the experts and let them tell us whether it's good or not. And if it's good, then they should pull this from us. And so, you know, we're, we're doing this with sort of the least amount of overhead and, you know, slowly scale it up as, you know, as, as it's demanded. Okay. Yeah. Versus, versus running and potentially running in the wrong direction. And then yeah. you got to come back and you're burning a lot of money in the process. Right. Of something like that. right. Yep. We're trying yeah. to keep it efficient. Cool. And so what are some next steps? What are you guys working on? Yeah, so so right now we've been working with a bunch of different collaborators getting those hand, you know, getting the samples out in a business development and sort of sales effort to try to get the coding out. Um, the other things we're working on right now at home, we're building out a GMP uh, manufacturing process so that we would eventually have the capability of delivering clinical product uh, to potential partners that may want to use this in final medical devices. So we're starting to plan for that. Uh, we're also looking at the scaling of our production process. So instead of doing 10 unit orders, can we do 10,000 unit orders uh, and that type of thing and trying to validate that our processes scale appropriately for those types of, uh, for that type of growth. So those are, those are kind of the two big things that we're really working on now. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, ten, tens of thousands, right? Like, uh, <laughs> how many people? How many people work at the company? Uh, right now, there's uh, uh, five and a half of us. Five and a half. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A dwarf. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're Oompa Loompa. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to. Yeah, we have a part time. Uh, we we have some part time help. So we're uh, and we're hoping that you know again, this is trying to keep things lean. We're hoping that as it grows, we can start to pull more more individuals in. But uh, yeah, so five and cool. a half. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Anything else uh, you want to you want to talk about? Or? Um, no, I mean you know I think uh, you know here at the Neural Interfaces Conference, I mean this has been a really great opportunity to uh, you know see what the cutting edge stuff that's going on here, uh, as well as to see where there's synergies and opportunities for you know our small business. So I mean that that in and of itself, it's great to be here and you know it's nice to yeah you know, nice to talk a little bit also with with you about the about the stuff. So you know a lot of our. Uh, a lot of our students that we work with listen, I think, to your podcast. Oh, nice! Yeah, wow! Yeah. So that's uh, that's yeah. good to hear. I'm I'm uh, I'm always uh, very surprised when I hear that yeah. people are listening and yeah, yeah. and people stop me or something like this, and I'm, yeah. I'm blown away. So I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, yeah. Know. Well, I hear about you all the time. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Thank okay. you. All right.